The bitch is back. Color mom. You did it again. Hey guys, so today we are going to be playing with and creating an eye look with the brand new collection from Color Mom, the Smoke Show collection. So I had the privilege of being flown out to LA to do Swatch Party on their channel, which I will link it up here. And it was so much fun. I feel like I was so shy and untalkative in the video because I was nervous. <laughs> I was having a panic moment where I was sitting in front of a team of people trying to be funny and simultaneously not being funny at all. So today I am going to just create an eye look with it. I'm gonna show you guys the collection. It is the Smoke Show palette. I think I have heard Leisha X Sparkage mention that she wants this palette forever since these started coming out. And I would have to wholly agree with you on that. I think it was a really good choice on ColourPop's part. So basically you've got a completely gray and black monochromatic palette. When I was doing the swatches from that, I'm not gonna do swatches today. You guys can go watch the ColourPop video that I did with them on their channel if you wanna see swatches of the entire collection. It seems like, how would you create a look with this? And we'll see today, I haven't used it yet. I only did swatch it in that video, but the colors in this palette are different tones and variations of grays and blacks. So like these ones up here are very cool toned. This one has like kind of a bluish purpley undertone base to it. So like this could be a look this could be one Then you can kind of mix and match. The thing about using shades like these are going really light handed with it at first because you can overdo it so easily on a smoky eye with black and gray shades. Most smoky eyes nowadays are browns and variations of like a dark warm warmer shades. Whereas when I first started doing makeup, this, this was a smoky eye. If it wasn't grays and blacks, it wasn't a smoky eye. And so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm so excited. There also are some products I'm not going to be using that came with this collection, which are the Glitterly Obsessed Glitters. They're really beautiful. Again, I swatched them over on the ColourPop channel. So you guys can see them. They're stunning, but they're not eye safe. These are more for like your body or for your hair. I'm not one to put glitter on my body and in my hair. It also comes with a Super Shock Trio. So you've got all of these super shock shadows right here. You've got a white one, a silver, and then a black with sparkles in it. This one is really pretty in the way of like, if you wanted to do a all black lid and then have it look like almost wet, this one will give you that for sure. It's really, really pretty. And then there's also a BFF bundle, which is a numero uno liquid liner, cream gel liner and exit and kicker cream gel liner. And I think these are all, we didn't swatch these ones. Oh yeah, okay, here they are. So you've got a black liquid liner, a white, and then a silver. These are both like pencil cream gel liners. So yeah, I'm going to try to create a look with this collection today and see if I can do something worthwhile. Let's do it. Editing Christy here. I was just informed I now have a ColourPop code, which is really exciting. I've never had really codes before. So you guys can, I guess, save 10% off anything on the ColourPop website. If you use code Christy, I have a code. I've got my whole complexion makeup done and my brows so we can just move into the eyes. It's not a full face video. Doesn't need to be. But I thought we might want to look at this together. You guys ready? <laughs> hey, there you are. Pretty cute. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we can do. So for a palette like this, I would recommend going in with smaller brushes. If you have struggles with eyeshadow normally, to go in with a black shade, you can take it too heavy handed sometimes too quickly. So I would recommend brushes like this size for the black shade. And then I need to clean these brushes. I'm gonna use my color switch on them. And then like this size for like your kind of medium blending shades and this side for your transition. Just kind of like a nice gradient as you can see. So I think I'm gonna start off with stone face, which is this guy right here. Looks really light in here. Well, it looks really light in general. Doesn't swatch, I think, as light as it looks in here. The thing about this video is, is that I've mentioned this before, but ColourPop shadows are easy to work with. So really this video is more like how to use the palette. I already know the shadows are gonna perform well. So it's not as much of a review as it is. Well, it is a review on the colors, not so much the performance, but maybe, maybe these shades don't perform as well. We'll see. This shade comes off very light on the eyes. I'm just using that throughout my crease. No idea what kind of look I'm gonna do. I wanna do something really smoky. I feel like I wanna use this a couple of different times because the look I wanna create today is not something that I haven't done, but I just... I don't know, I just wanna do it. I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is slated. I'm gonna take this same brush. And I'm just gonna dip into it a little bit and tap off the excess. And then on the inner and outer, I'm gonna go in 
And I did this look similarly, but with the Kathleen Light So Jaded palette. I took that one traveling with me when I went to LA and it worked so pretty. But that shade was more of like a brown gray in there. And I think it's called Stoned. I used that for like sort of this inner and outer halo eye situation and it worked really well. And then I used the shade Diamond in the center. So if you have that palette and you kind of want to get a similar look to this and you don't want to buy this collection, then I would definitely give that one a go. As with all ColourPop 9 pans, I don't like that they put it in plastic. I love a halo eye. Some people are not as much of a fan, but they are so pretty. I just feel like I love the shape that they give your eye. When you do a halo eye like this and you really just keep the center of it open, they give such like a doe-eyed appearance to the eye. I just love it. it. Really rounds it out. If you want it to be more cat eye, which we, I think I'll do a wing with this look today. I'll kind of wing out this outer portion here so that it's not so rounded. You can definitely do that as well. I'm gonna take this little brush, which is the Makeup Addiction Precise Blender. I'm gonna dip into Slated again with that, the one we just did, and I'm really gonna deepen up in the crease. If you're afraid of the black shade because it's just a little bit scary to work with, sometimes they can be because they can get out of hand and like get all over your face, then you can really deepen up your look with just this shade. I'm gonna dip into Stone Face again just to blend out the edges right here. These are very cool toned grays. They're very like a blue base to it. I kind of prefer almost like more of a red based gray, I think, or like a little bit of a warmer gray, but you know what? These are really pretty and I feel like they picked the right colors for this palette. So I feel like that's pretty blended. That looks kind of nice. I'm gonna dip into Young Love a little bit, which is like this white shade up here, just for the very edges. This is bringing me back to the beginning days of YouTube. So I'm not gonna like cut the crease or anything, but I am going to dip into this shade right here, which is Starstruck. This shade, when we were swatching it, like I'm gonna show you guys on my finger. Look at this. It's like liquid silver. It's shockingly pretty. Wow, look at that. It's so stunning. It's even prettier than the Super Shock that is in here. Like you would think that the shade Liberty in here would be more, because Super Shocks have that really like, almost like liquidy, creamy feeling to them. But this one's even more silver than the Super Shock. So pretty. I'm taking this up a little bit, not too, too high, but just up a little higher to make my eye look larger. Oh. And then I'm gonna take the shade, I think I'm gonna, I don't know, I feel like I'm more into this one right here. This is full metal. There are two darker shades in here. As you can see, this one and this one. I'll do like a swatch on each finger so you can see the difference in their tones. But I think I'm more into this one right now. I don't know, let me see. Yeah, I think it'll warm it up just a little bit. And I'm taking that right on the outer portion of that silver so that there is like a gradient. I am gonna deepen this up with a black. So that's full metal that I decided on. And now I'm gonna go in with that same little brush and go in with the shade Let's Do It right here. And just tap this to really darken up the outer and inner corners so that it really blends in with that shade. And that's why I think having a small brush is really nice because you can get so precisely in there. You don't need to worry about taking a giant brush like this, which is, you know what I mean? It covers too much space. And then if you took the black like out here, it gets out of hand really fast. So with a smaller brush like this, you can be a lot more precise with it. You can tap just a little bit and really tap off the excess. I do love this shade in here, Midnight Dream. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can. It's like a matte black with like purple flecks in it. I'm gonna tap a little bit of that over the whole thing, just like so gently, just to add that like tap of sparkle. That is so pretty. I wish you could see it in person, but it does add just a hint of purple sparkle. It's so pretty. All right, now I'm going to do my wing. I'm gonna do my other eye real quick off camera, and then I'm gonna come back and do my wing with the ColourPop liquid liner, this one. So. BRB. So I know it's a very simple look so far, but people wear simple looks generally. Now I'm gonna do the eyeliner and this is like a felt tip liner from ColourPop. So I'm just gonna do like a big, nice chunky wing. I love it when a wing just works. I really hope I can recreate that on the other side. Like I really, that would be really nice. Can you just, Oh, 
It's not perfect, but I think those are all right. Now what I wanna do is I think I'm gonna take the Super Shock now because I haven't used any of the Super Shocks yet. So I want to take that really pretty one right here. I'll show you. This one, it's frisky. That's what it looks like. So here's what it looks like. See what I mean when I say it looks wet? Wet. So I'm gonna take that on like a flat brush and I'm going to try to tap it over the wing. Who knows if this is gonna work. Did you hear my stomach just now? Bitch is hungry. Ooh, it's really pretty. Oh, tapped over black. Ooh, I like that very much. <laughs> I like that very much. It's almost got like a rainbowiness to it. I like that. All right, I'm gonna throw on this. This is the cream gel liner. Jeez. This is the cream gel liner in Kicker. This is what I like. Oh, it's like a real silver. That's pretty. Let's look at that in the waterline. Whoa, that is like silver, silver, like tin foil silver. You see that? Almost looks like you're crying because you're eyes are all so wet looking, you know? Okay, I'm gonna toss a pair of lashes on real quick and then we're gonna work on the lower lash line and I will be right back. Okay, lashes are on and now I'm gonna work on the lower lash line. Probably not a lot that I can do with this that is out of the box of what you think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna dip into this shade right here and I'm going to slate it and I'm gonna run it under here. That's the fun thing about smoky eyes though is that you can really like blow them out to make them so like gradiated out into the skin. I love a good smoky eye. I think this palette may look intimidating to a lot of people. It's been very easy to work with so far. I mean, it's gray, yeah, but it's kind of perfect for Halloween. All right, so now I'm going to, I think I'm gonna take a super shock. So I'm gonna go with this super shock, which is tassel. This is what it looks like here. And you dip your finger in. It's kind of like a diamondy shade. So I'm gonna take that and I'm going to tap it on the center on the bottom. That's so pretty. Ooh, I might take a little bit of that right there too. Ooh, yes. Ooh, that's pretty. Now I'm gonna take that little brush again and go in with a black shade and just smoke out my lower lash line on the inner and outer a little bit more. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love this palette. This would be a really good addition palette if you are wondering like, oh, should I get that, should I not? If you are looking for a palette to have to be an addition to other colorful palettes, I mean, it's not the easiest to work with in the way of like gray and black is like so specific in the kind of looks that you can create and what it pairs with, which it seems like it would go with everything. But because these are like blue based grays, these would definitely go better with probably more cool tone palettes. But if you're looking to have like an addition palette in the way that there's a white, there's a black, and like all those other colors that could complement other eye looks, then you might really like this. All right, now I'm gonna throw some, oh, I'm gonna throw some mascara on my lower lashes. My uh, NYX mascara is downstairs, so I gotta use this one. This is the Hourglass Caution. I do like this mascara. It's just a little bit wet for me. I like a little bit more of a dry formula. All right, I'm gonna take a little brush and just kind of dust away the powder on my face because I feel like I got a little bit of fallout from those shades. I feel like for lips, for this, I could go nude, sure. I could go black. It's gotta be up here somewhere. I know Lunar Beauty just sent me their new collection, the Moonspell collection, which I haven't had a chance to use yet, but I'm gonna look through and see if I can find that package and see if I can grab the black lipstick out of there because I feel like this would really benefit from a black, so BRB. I was gonna save the black lipstick for when I did my Lunar Beauty video that I was gonna do, but, 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 I feel like this look could really use a black lip. So I am excited to give this a go. So this is the Lunar Beauty Wicked Liquid Lip. Oh, I used to be a hoe for black lipstick. You know what? Used to is not even right. I still am. Every time I would have an event or go somewhere, I would always wear black lipstick because it just makes me feel so powerful. Powerful. It makes me feel so powerful. Mm. Okay, this is a real thing and I really need you to understand this. If nothing else, I need you to go to Sephora just to smell Lunar Beauty's lipsticks in general, like they are, they smell unbelievable. They smell like the a literal funfetti cake frosting. They smell like buttery. That's a very pigmented black, but I'm going to take my, ooh, pretty. 
feel like the diamond looks different in this one. Maybe it's not. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Bull Chic. Bull Chic? Like bullshit, but Bull Chic? Okay. I am going to line my lips. <sighs> the bitch is back. I love black lipstick. I forget about it. That's why I never wear, oh, and you know, I'm just, as I become more of a nude lip ass bitch, I just forget about it, you know? Maybe I'm gonna take a little bit of this Super Shock, like a little bit and just like tap it on the edge. Makes it look like glossy. All right, and this is the finished look with the ColourPop Smoke Show palette. I like it. I really like it. Again, it is very cool toned, so you have to keep that in mind that it kind of gives off that like cool toned bluey almost vibe with it because it is easy to work with. I didn't find that I struggled with it at all. Remember, keep in mind to use a really light hand and a tiny little bit and build up because if you go in too much too soon, you know what happened to the girl who did too much too soon? She died, Jill. But other than that, I really like the palette. I like the collection. I like the Super Shocks a lot. I think that this shade in particular is really, really, really beautiful. Again, if you did a base of like the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean or something or some sort of black base down and then you tap that over it, I feel like it give you a really glossy look. I really like the silver water liner as well. It's really glidey. It just kind of worked really nicely. It also did come with a white. I almost feel like it should have come with a black, but I get why. Why they didn't. I mean, I feel like everyone has a black liner, so they were probably trying to do something different. I really like it. I feel like it's a nice collection. They did send this, which is a BFD cleansing oil. Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried that. Everything else I feel like is pretty good. I do feel like if I could change the collection in any way, like if I could make it my perfect collection, I would have left these out, not because I don't like them. They're beautiful, but they are useless to me because you're not supposed to use these on your eyes and all you want to do is use them on your eyes. They're that beautiful. That's why they frustrate me because they are so stunning and you can't use them on your eyes because they're not cosmetic grade glitter, I don't think. And they're just, it's a tease. It's a tease. These glitterly obsessed, they're so stunning. They're like too beautiful. I get why they have them, but for me, I think I would prefer that they did a lip collection with this instead and put a black lipstick in there. They do have a new Lux Liquid Lipstick Formula that they released with the Disney collection that they just did. So it would have been cool if they had put like a black version of that in this with the black lip liner and then maybe like a fun gloss with it or something. I think for me, I would have preferred that to the literally obsessed just for myself personally. I just don't use those. They're stunning though. Like that's what sucks about them is they're so beautiful. Color them Or maybe what would have been fun is like a black liquid lipstick or a black lipstick, a black lip liner, and then a supernova shadow. Mm, supernova? You know what those are? Those are liquid shadows that ColourPop has. Color mom. Supernovas. But this is the Smoke So, Smoke So. That's a smoky so so. Smoky glow glow. This is the ColourPop Smoke Show collection and I hope you guys liked this video and that it was fun to watch and somewhat helpful for you. If you guys like this look or if you create anything from this, please tag me, I would love to see it. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I would love to have you here. I can't believe we're at the amount of subscribers that we are at, we're really like 760 or something like that right now. You shitting on my face? 760? Are we there? Me? Never would have thought it. Never would have thunk it. Never would have known it. Almost 760. Can I cannot even believe it? Can I believe it? So if you guys um, want to, you can subscribe and make that number higher or not. And if you don't, it's incredibly hurtful and I will cry about it. But you know, if you like to make me cry, then fine. Rude though. And if you guys are interested in seeing more from the Lunar Beauty Collection, I am gonna do a look with the magic. What is it called? <laughs> Why is my brain blinking on it? Lunar Beauty. Moonspell palette, thank you. So stay tuned for that, I'm gonna be doing that and I'll probably do a black inner rim lip with like blown out with like the glitter. I have, I have an idea what I'm gonna do with that. I wanna make it like real spooky and cool. So if you guys are excited about that, let me know. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Why did I do it like that? I hate myself. I hate myself. You guys can go watch the color pop video that I did video. So I've always, uh, 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 this a couple of different. <coughs>
Um, it, it, I think I'm gonna take that little brush. This is the Makeup Edition. Probably going to do it. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Stop. Ah, ah, ah. What's happening? Oh, owie, that hurt me. Is there something in my eye? Yes, what is it? 